Hello everyone, I am here from my son's room, my son Zen, say hi Zen, say hi, say hi, say hi, <laughs> is that baby Zen on there, yes it is, he loves looking at himself in the camera, um, and this little dude is such a source of joy, I'm so lucky to have him in my life. Um, but yeah, so it is January 3rd of 2023. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's standing all on his own now. He's not walking yet, but he is standing. <laughs> it's amazing. Aren't you amazing? Yeah. This is an amazing baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so today I'm doing the video in his room, uh, and it is the third day of the new year. Uh, I have unfinished murals. This is unfinished. That one is unfinished. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's the third day of the new year, and I'm here to let you know, if your new year didn't start out the way that you'd hoped it did, don't worry, you're not alone. Um, my new year didn't start out the way I hoped it did. Um, hoped it would. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But this dude always brings me back to smiling. Um, yeah, you do. But yeah, uh, things don't always work out the way that you hope or plan or expect or want them to. And so, you know, this, uh, this new year is a little different for me than I had expected. Uh, but it's not bad. I'm just, excuse me, in a funky state of mind. Um, it's hard to shake that funky state of mind sometimes. And so I'm just doing what I can, uh, Donna bought me a bunch of journals and a couple of new books. I uh, just got my hairs redid. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's an interesting time. Uh, yeah, it's interesting to <laughs> have this notion like, hey, everything's gonna be better in the new year and then the new year gets here and you're like oh well it's not really all that much better yeah uh <laughs> and then you realize life is a ride and sometimes you're riding it wrong uh the expectations you know we talk about expectations they're not always uh the best way to live when you have expectations, it can be a little rough um, because you wanted something else with that expectation rather than what you got. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess what I'm telling you is don't worry. If things aren't going the way you hoped or the way you wanted or the way you thought, They'll still straighten up. <laughs> it's not the end of the world when life comes at you the way life comes at you. It's actually the way life comes. Um, like this dude, he fucking screams and yells and cries when things are wrong and then is extraordinarily happy. <laughs> like moments like this where he's just really happy and cute and silly and I'm chewing on a toy, and that makes me happy. Um, so yeah, if things didn't go the way that you had hoped, don't worry about it. Uh, if things aren't going the way you want them to go, don't worry about it. Do what you can to make what you want out of your life. And be happy where you are. <sighs> so much easier said than done. But be happy where you are. Do it. 
I believe in you. I know you can. I can too. And that's really like what I've... <laughs> it's a farm. It's a barnyard sing-along. But like what I'm trying to do is just be happy where I am. Um, and I think that's what it was. Uh, I started getting really unhappy where I am. And that's not the key. That's not the way. That's not the magic. The magic is all about fucking being happy where you are. Believing in your abilities to live your happy life. <laughs> These songs are quite fun. Ah. Let me go ahead and cut that down. I think I turned it off. But yeah, you know, um, life isn't about perfection. Perfection isn't something you can achieve. Um, life is about enjoying yourself. Um, feeling the sting sometimes. You know, uh, the the sweet isn't so sweet without the taste of the bitter, right? The darkness uh, helps you appreciate the light. So when it comes down to life, when it comes down to expectations, when it comes down to your new year, one of the things that I've been like getting irritated at already is everybody being so positive about their year and how perfect it all is. And it's like, yeah, cool, man. It's been fucking three days. Um, <laughs> And that's some of my cynicism coming out. Uh, and I understand that I can't live in that cynicism. But, you know, the truth is, if your reality isn't so bright and flowery right now, dude, I get it. It's life. Don't be mad at yourself about it. Don't be mad at your partner. Don't be mad at other people. Don't be mad at your job. Don't be mad at your situation. Just love yourself. Believe in yourself. And do the best you can to have gratitude in the situation you're in. Because right now, that's my effort. My effort is to have gratitude for my life, for my Donna, for my sons, Jaden and Zen, um, you know, for everything. And when I am in that state and when I have that level of vibration where I'm like focusing on love and joy and what I do have rather than what I'm missing, man, it's just a better life. It's simple, not easy. So it's a hard story to tell yourself. It's a hard uh, story to believe. But you can do this. I fucking believe in you. <laughs> Zen is playing with some, uh, where is he? There he is. <laughs> you know what? And I feel like Christmas is over, so we can play with the wrapping paper. Wow, that was kind of metaphorical. Christmas is over, so play with the wrapping paper. Uh, don't stress about the things. Just play. Have fun. Make a ruckus when Dad's trying to make a video. And then smile at Dad, right? Wait, you know, man. He's like, dude, I am not looking at you. I am playing with this paper. Because this is so much fun. Funny thing about Zen, he loves crinkly papers. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he's playing with the crinkly noisy paper. And then, you know, when you have sweet little animals that love you, and a sweet baby that loves you, and all these loving people in your life, and things are actually quite well. So you need to focus on. So, and if you don't have all these sweet animals and sweet people, focus on what you do have. Because chances are there's a lot of love out there for you. And there's a lot of people that believe in you and they're rooting for you and care about you. <laughs> so, if your new year didn't start out so great, that's okay. It will be great. And it just takes a little bit of you focusing on what you have that's already great. So, thank you for joining me again today. I love you. Have a happy new year. 
have some grace and compassion with yourself and just be okay with being where you are. I love you. Have a great day. I'm Rod and so are you.